Scientists and stargazers will have their eyes on the skies above the U.S. state of Utah this weekend. A capsule is due to plummet from space at more than 15 times the speed of a rifle bullet. It contains rocks and dust from an asteroid which took four years to reach Earth. Those samples could give vital clues about the formation of our planet more than four billion years ago. Live now to Dr. Brad Tucker, astrophysicist and cosmologist at the College of Science at the Australian National University. I think I've simplified it there, haven't I, really? It, this has been quite an achievement for, for the science world, for the space world as well. It is, you know, everything we usually do, we study from afar, we take pictures uh, from a telescope, we measure data, we even send probes to measure them on the surface. So rarely in so few times have we been able to collect samples, um, take them from the object, and then make that return journey back to land them on Earth so they can be studied them vastly superior in the labs all around the world. You know, as you said, this probe took years to get there, traveling nearly 2 billion kilometers just to get to the asteroid and then to come back, you know, at previously had years of building in the future. So this has been definitely the culmination of over a decade's worth of effort to get these amount of samples back to the Earth to be studied. All right, let me just fill in a couple of gaps for our viewers. So it's taken seven years. Um, Osiris Rex traveled to asteroid Bennu. Bennu is actually really quite small. I, I believe it's only 500 meters wide. What exactly did Osiris Rex achieve and how on Earth did it collect the samples? That's right. So, you know, the, the asteroid itself isn't very big, and it's a part of a collection of asteroids um, that are mostly what we call carbonous chondrites. These are kind of like loose piles of rubble. And these, we think, are often the bits of the solar system that formed around the same time as the Earth and things like that, formed into these clumps and then kind of just stayed there since then. So this probe, Osiris Rex, left the Earth, traveled this huge distance, yeah, nearly 2 billion kilometers, reached the asteroid Bennu. Now, it had a target of what its goal was to do was to go down to the surface, and then it had this little hose that essentially puffed and vacuumed up the samples. Now, they hit this object within about 90 centimeters of the center, so it traveled nearly 2 billion kilometers to something only a few hundreds of meters wide to be at the center to within 100 centimeters to collect all of this sample, vacuum them up in this container. And then this container was sealed to then leave the asteroid and make the return journey back, of which we're going to see Sunday. 